Man, oh man, oh man. Lil Richard, Tutti Fruity on Rudy, is dead at the age of 87. You know what they say. If you live long, that means you were good to your parents. Um, now, some of y'all may know how he used to act very suspect. And he actually got really, 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 really saved, kind of, in the past. Well, let me let you tell him yourself. I mean, let me let him tell you himself. Now, I only know this because not too long ago, I wanted to Google randomly to see if Lil Richard was really gay because my aunt was telling me that Prince wasn't gay. And I was telling her, anybody who uses just for me perms and wear pants with the butt cheeks cut out is suspect. But she said, nah, he just freaky. She a real big Prince fan. So in the comment section, y'all let me know, would y'all date a man like Prince or Lil Richard? And y'all tell me if y'all really think he was gay or he was just androgynous or whatever the freak. For more than six de decades, Lil Richard kept people bopping to his signature style of uninhibited rock and roll. Besides his music, Lil Richard was has been known for something else throughout his expansive career. His com complicated relationship with his sexual orientation and his face effect on it. In 2017, interview on the Christian-oriented Three Angels Broadcasting Network, Richard reiterated a belief that homosexuality is unnatural while simultaneously reaffirming his strong Christian faith that has followed him for most of his life. Anybody that comes in show business, they gonna say you gay or straight, he said. God made men, men and women, women. You've got to live the way God wants you to live. He can save you. These comments were the latest in a decades-long public struggle with compromising his religious beliefs and his sexual orientation. That is the actual interview I saw. I'm not going to play it because I don't want to get a copyright. But Lil Richard literally acts nothing like y'all are used to him acting if you, if you check out that interview. Richard born Richard Wayne Pennyman in Macomb, Georgia in 32 often acknowledged his lifestyle as a gay man. Charles White's 1984 biography, The Life and Times of Lil Richard, weaves together antidotes, any, and, oh my God, any stoke, whatever, it's not working today, from Richard himself and people in his life, including a number of other artists, to tell the story of his rise from young Georgia gospel singer to the biggest pioneer in Southern rock and roll. In it, he reflected on the sexual experiences from his young life that formed his sexual identity over the years. Now, I just want to say this right here. To tell the story of his rise from young Georgia guy. Why does it seem like there is a lot of, and I don't care about it because if anybody knows me, they know I identify as bisexual. And yes, that's a real thing. You can have sexual attraction to both sexes, right? But it seems like there's a lot of gays in the church. Um, for the word to be so against gays, they sure find themselves being in the church, especially as choir directors, like Flame and Hot Cheeto choir directors, people, you know, banging tambourines and all that. Yeah, I know what Tyler Perry said about the tambourine players. From a young age, he said he always felt feminine. Mm, sort of wearing his mother's makeup and clothes from getting kicked out of the house at the age of 15 by his deacon father. He began performing at different venues around Atlanta and began traveling that became known as Chitlin Circuit. What became known as a Chitlin Circuit? A number of performance venues throughout the South that were safe and acceptable for black musicians, comedians, and other entertainers to perform during the segregation era. Now, I just thought the Chitlin Circuit was just, you know, black people. But I didn't know the Chitlin Circuit was created because it was a safe and acceptable place for black people to perform. I had no idea. Following his hit Tutti Fruity, shout out to Andrew Codwell, reaching number two on the Billboard R&B chart in 1956, Richard enjoyed a few years of success as a rock and roll performer. Interest, interestingly enough, the original lyrics of Tutti Fruity were about another gay man. Mm. 
Tootie fruity, good booty. If it don't fit, don't force it. You can grease it, make it easy. Baby, I never knew the lyrics. I was born in 1991. You got to be out your mind. His single, Long Tall Sally, reached number one on the R&B chart in 56. And another recognizable hit, Good Golly Miss Molly, came out two years later. In a three-year span, Richard had racked up 18 hit songs. By the end of the decade, however, he felt God was telling him to turn away from secular music. And as a result, enrolled in Oakland College to study theology. First of all, you can't come back from two if it don't fit don't force it you can grease it to make it easy and then enroll in the theology school richard found pleasure in his biblical studies becoming attracted to the ideal of praising god through music he believed he found peace with god and that he should live as god intended him to he also believed that he faced devils while there too he was caught asking the deacon son to expose himself and resented this his unnatural affections and led him that led him to hate who he was in addition to his homosexual activity he became involved in void voyeurism in his 20s paying men to let him watch them have sex with women sometimes forcibly my whole gay activities were really into masturbation he said i'll always be mad after i finished be mad at myself don't want to talk about it don't want to answer no questions his voyeuristic escapades eventually led him being jailed for sexual misconduct after being found with a couple in a car in a making gas station.